Hello nail friends and welcome back to another Honey Doll Nails video. Watch me work acrylic freestyle nail art. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that you may be notified of all future videos. Hello nail friends, how are you? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a watch me work. Listen, I'm just going to be honest with you now. I only did one hand <laughs> because it took me four hours just to do this one hand and I was over it by that time. Um, if you guys know me, I love to wear press on nails. I am not into acrylics or none of that. I'll take the easy route. Okay, I'll make me a set of press on nails any day and pop them on and off. I'm okay with it because I like to change the way my nails look sometimes daily, sometimes weekly, sometimes I don't wear any nails at all. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a detailed, okay, detailed, very detailed. That's why this video is very long. Please excuse me. Okay, I tried to shorten it as short as I could without leaving out the details about how I do my nails. And I do my nails very detailed. I do my nails very extravagant. So today's nail art tutorial is going to be about, okay, XXLs, number one, from Curafin. And I use Curafin glue. I am also using um, a card file 100 100 that's a file that I use to file my nails with I also use some pigments to make my own acrylics okay so this is not the acrylic that came in this jar all right I also made um, some purple acrylic as well all right so I made it with my pigment powder you can do the same thing too I will link I will have a link in the description box below on how you make your own pigments, okay? How you make your own acrylics if you're interested in learning how to do that. In the meanwhile, this is going to be, again, and I repeat, a long video, all right? So get your popcorn, call your girlfriends, share this video, okay? Save it in your playlist if you wanna come back to it later, but please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, okay? Y'all come to this channel. Y'all subscribe, but y'all don't give no thumbs up. Y'all don't give no comments. So I'm just saying, I don't know everything. There's got to be something that you might want to know or something that you may want me to try out on this channel. Do not be afraid to put a comment down below. Do not be afraid to check that like button. As people say before, it is free. It don't cost you nothing to press that button, okay? Show me some love. All right, I would love to know who you are. All right, my name is Chinetta and I'm a nail tech and I've been doing nails for 30 plus years. I've been doing nails a long time. And the nail game has changed over time. Uh, and when I started doing nails, it was all about acrylics and airbrushing. Now it's about free hand and it's all about press ons, okay? So I just decided to sit down and do a set of nails, but I got so tired. <laughs> Once I did this one hand, I just said, forget it. So this set is going to be about an ombre gold nugget nail. So I'm going to do a gold nugget nail. I'm also going to do an ombre that is going to be a pink and a purple, as you can see, hot pink neon, hot pink and extreme purple, okay? My base is going to be me a secret, all right? So I'm just gonna take my time right now and I'm just gonna do a cover over top of the nails to give myself a foundation. I will not be talking all the way through this video. So you just sit back and relax and enjoy this video, okay? I'll be coming back at the end of this video for the reveal, all right? All right, so thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you at the end of this video.
All right, so we've come to the portion of the video where I'm going to just put on some gel base coat. So I've already put on one coat. I'm putting on two coats so I can get that shine. And if there's any little dents or scratches in the nail, it would be nice and smooth. Also, now I'm going to fill in the spaces of the nail because I know you're wondering like why she leaves spaces in her nails because that's where I'm going to be putting my jewelry and my embellishments on. Um, as you saw earlier, it's best for you to try to find some type of tackiness in order for you to put stuff inside the nail. I am not so good with picking up the acrylic brush and putting acrylic on top of the embellishments when it came down to the hearts and it came down to the flame. So what I ended up doing was I ended up putting base coat on it and then laying it down. All right, so now I have already picked out um, my jewelry that I'm gonna put on top of my nail and I'm just using just a clear UV gel. You can use any kind that you want to. Anytime you have real heavy embellishments on top of the nail as far as jewelry and settings are concerned, it's best that you use something a little bit thicker than glue. I'm a little rougher on my hands and a lot of times I could bang my hand and then my stone will fall off and that would make me very upset, especially if my nails are not even 24 hours old. So here you see me grabbing a big glob of this UV clear gel and I just put it on the spaces where I'm going to be putting on my embellishments first. Yes, I am using a gold ring. And this gold ring is just, I'm just gonna use it as a setting. And as you see later on, I'm gonna set my blue heart stone in the inside of this setting. So just like when you're getting jewelry made, it's for like a ring or something like that, they make the settings and then they stick the diamonds or whatever stones you have inside the setting. Okay, now this technique that I'm using, I call it the offset. And the offset means, number one, that nothing is straight up and down. It's going left, right, in, out. Some of the pieces are hanging off the side. That's just the way I like my nails. Now, if anyone comes to me and get their nails done and they tell me, okay, Chinetta, you can do freestyle, nine times out of 10, I will give them an offset, which means things hanging and things not so perfectly aligned. Okay, that's how you can tell that I did the person's nails because I have a different way of doing it. And I taught my students how to do it as well. And I just love the way it comes out because it makes the design your own. I'm always saying that on this channel, make it your own. Okay, what doesn't look good to you, somebody else might love it. So that's why I always say there's no right or wrong way to do your acrylics as long as in the end it comes out the way you want it to. There's no right and wrong way to put on your stones, okay? And then another thing, I don't like my nails super thick. I can't stand that because it's easy for you to bang your nail and next thing you know, acrylic will crack. Gel is a little more flexible than acrylic. So acrylic will crack. And we all know what happens when acrylic cracks. When acrylic cracks, you end up with a bleed. You end up with your nail cracked across the top, and then you have to try to find some way to get that nail off, cut it down, and, and you know, the injury is just so terrible. Now, I do recommend my clients to wait at least six to eight weeks before they put another nail on, but I've known nail techs to go and put something right over top of that and keep it moving, and that's how you get infection. And the next thing you know, you done lost your whole fingernail. Because I think that part of the fingernail that's cracked is going to come off anyway. Uh, it's best to let it get some air so that it can air dry and heal properly. All right, we don't want chemicals down inside going into your bloodstream. Okay, remember this stuff is poison to the bloodstream. That's why they tell you to keep it away from the cuticles and try not to cut your client with your nail file. Okay, so as you can see, I'm twisting and turning um, my stones the way that I want them to be. And I'm clustering them up together, but I'm just making it the way I want it to be, all right? So 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you have anything that you would like for me to try a technique or a product, my email address and information is in um, the front page of this site, okay? Do not forget to subscribe to us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and subscribe to us, of course, on YouTube. And again, God bless you all. Until I see you again, have a blessed and wonderful day.